Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dagenstein here, ready to bring you another Genshin Impact video. And today, we're going to be talking about some resources that can help you when this game comes out. So we're going to be looking at some things that could be potentially helpful for some people that want some extra resources to help them out. Now, some of these resources are going to be things that are going to be beneficial to all players. And some of these things are probably going to be some things that you probably don't want to mess with unless you get further in the game. But you'll see what we're talking about in just a second. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So right off the bat is this cool party setup thing set up by uh, Z Blackwing here. Um, so I'll put all the links in the description below so you guys can check all these resources out, by the way. Um, so you can mess around with yourself. So this is a nice way for you to actually like build your teams up. So, you know, if I want to put the base team here, we can do that. Or just pick some characters. We'll pick uh, Amber here. Um, we'll pick Beto. Uh, we'll pick, let's see, Gene and uh my boy kaya all right cool so then it gives you a nice little idea of what your elements are so you can see your elements you can see the resonance that you're going to get so i'm going to get the um all element resistance um resonance right here and then of course you're going to see all your possible reactions and how they work and stuff like that what you'll actually be getting and how they work so like I said, you can build multiple teams, you can save the party, you can try a different party right here, and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool, you know, just to test out, to see what your teams, you're thinking, your ideas, you can see them visually and see what they can also bring to the table. What type of things you can uh, have at your disposal as far as reactions, and what elements you'll be looking at in your resonance. Um, when you're thinking about building teams, or thinking about characters that you possibly may want, and see how they could probably work with your characters that way too. Another cool thing here, is this cool talent breakdown. So, you know, if you're thinking about a character, if you, um, you don't have them and you just want to see what their stats and stuff are, uh, you can look at it right here. Because uh, one good bad thing about the game uh, that I do have to say is the game actually doesn't allow you to actually view this stuff in the game, unfortunately. It doesn't allow you. So if I uh, pull up the game right here, I think I have it up. When you go to the wish, there's no way for you to actually click anything. Uh, you can hear me clicking. You can't click this to like try to bring up anything to try to click on the characters to see like what's at their disposal so unfortunately that's been a thing that's been around in the game for a while is you can't click to see what the characters are and that's another thing about weapons too um that you can't do you can't see like what you're going to get before you can get it which i hope that is addressed eventually but for right now that's just how it is so yeah you can see all the thing about the characters the challenge breakdowns the elemental skills and the elemental burst right here and you can boost up their ascensions and see what changes what is increased and like you know just pretty much like what what's benefiting them and it breaks it down in that aspect like you see what you see when it pops up and stuff like that so this is very good just to see how strong your character gets or how strong the character gets if you're thinking about pulling for a character you can see their kits right here as it updates so you know sucrose got in there you don't know too much about sucrose well no problem you got it right here and you can like put up information well there's nothing on her right now because obviously she's new but uh characters that we do have like uh, for example kaya or gene uh d luke you know you think about pulling for d luke but you don't know what he do uh you know you can see what he does right here see what his ascensions look like see what his constellations look like how much stronger he gets and think see if he's a character that you want to pull for but yeah so i think it's a pretty good resource for just researching things and basically thinking ahead about the things that you're going to do as far as pulling and setting up your teams. The next re uh, resource that I was talking about is a little bit more controversial because some people may not want to use something like this, at, the, at least at the very beginning. So in this game, there's obviously the animals and there's the statues and stuff like that. Uh, these are the things you got to find around the world. There's multiple versions of these. So it's a lot of these 65 here and 130 across the land of Liyue and uh, 65 across the land of Monstrad. Now, these, of course, are going to be pretty hard to find. They are in, like, set locations, but someone has already made an interactive map to find these things. So, if you want to know where all these are so you can complete the shrines in the area, there is a map already dedicated for this. So, of course, maybe you don't want to use it right away. Maybe you want to, you know, have fun, enjoy the game, explore the world for yourself. Totally understandable. It's a great game. It's great for that type of experience. But once you get down and you're, like, missing, like, a few like two or three maybe a map like this will really come in handy so you can just like okay i think i just searched everywhere i'm tired of searching where are these last three that i'm missing uh, a map like this will come in handy for stuff like that but you can uh hide stuff and open stuff so you see i can hide and show whatever i want you can even go into resources so if you're looking for a particular uh mineral it tells you where, like the best places to find those so you're looking for frogs you can find those where to find eggs 
where to find flowers and different. So you look any type of things that you're looking for, pretty much. Uh, you can find in this chart right here. So pretty good chart. You can even see where the shrines are too. Because I know the shrine locations are definitely a, a big thing once you start getting keys and stuff. So definitely really good that you have this. And it's only going to get probably bigger. I know they're going to probably update this. As more regions come and stuff like that, it's probably going to be a big, good map to actually use. Especially for people that just want to just know where everything is. Some people just like to know. And I know this resource will definitely come in handy for those type of people. Next resource is going to be just information type things done by Sun Milk, who does some great charts, visual charts. So uh, first chart here is going to be the elemental reaction chart. So this one has been updated. She did this before, but they actually updated. So you can see it tells you all the element combinations and what they do, which is very important inside the game. So you can see here, uh, it talks about the swirl, which swirl absorbs the, of course, all these elements. Uh, crystallization tells you how that works. It tells you how dendro is, um, how it interacts with fire, which is burning. That's the only one that we know so far for the dendro is interactivity. And then it gives you this nice chart over here telling you how everything interacts as far as like the type of things you can get done as far as your element reaction. So electro charge, melt, vaporize, overload, superconduct, frozen shatter so there's a lot of things here you can get but there's also other benefits that some people may not be aware of let's talk about those all right so i moved my camera a little bit so you guys can actually see this one so these are the debuffs now this is going to be a little bit different than the normal stylus elements of the game so they're still in there but these are like special debuffs that can actually happen to you for example in the bottom right there's ca cadence ice there's also cryo the cryo um, once you get that on, you actually slow down your movement speed a bit, but Cadence Eye specifically increases your character's stamina consumption. So it's going to be a little bit different between these, and these are going to be a little bit more specific um, when it comes to the enemies you encounter. So going through these, uh, Engulfing Storm is going to continuously drain your character's recharge. It's pretty annoying. Even if you're at 100, you can just get, you know, it'll take your, um, basically your ultimate ability. So it'll take some of that energy away, and you got to rebuild it back up. Uh, smoldering flames continuously inflict pyro damage over time to the character and slowing water increases character's skilled cooldown durations so if your cooldown is six seconds it's going to be a little bit longer if you have slowing water on you and like i said these are the debuffs to the game a lot of people still don't know that these are actually in the game but i think it's a pretty cool thing to actually talk about and one last thing here um not really a like resource no say but just something fun to do um there is this like um Thing you can do um basically you know if you want to test out your luck for 10 pulls for characters you can um you know do different banners so there's the venti banner the uh, regular banner just do 10 pulls you can uh, change it to um the rates of the game so it's at 0 0.6 5.1 so this is like the standard rate you can do 10 pulls right here just see like you know how the rolls how like how bad is the got how bad do you think the gotcha is how good it, you think it may be uh, just try your luck on like something like this i don't know maybe you get lucky on here and then you probably feel confident in the actual game and then you could go and do your roll or something like that but just something a little fun to do that someone made uh just a simulation of the actual banners that you can do there anyway like i said i just wanted to show these resources to you guys some of them are going to be more beneficial than others specifically this knowledge right here is definitely going to be beneficial um this interactive map could definitely be beneficial to people um people who just want to speed run through the game or people who just want to know where things at after they're done with the honeymoon phase of trying to explore everything in the world um so yeah you can use that and of course this resource right here setting up your parties and understanding more about certain characters that you're not familiar with anyway if you like anything you have to say drop me a like i greatly appreciate it and if you want to hear more from me follow me on my socials also don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know the next video goes live as always my name is daikin and i'll see y'all next time Signing out.